What was that? I sensed something was amiss nearly the moment Sora and Riku departed. Xehanort must have known what we were attempting before we even began. But you do know where they are. You must understand, this examination is in no way how the mark of mastery is usually found. However, in light of what they must do next, it was a necessity. If Sora and Riku complete their test, by finding the seven doors corresponding to the seven pure lights, they will return home with a new power. At that point, they will both be true masters. However, the dangers make this more trial than test. But are they safe right now? Considering their ability, I would like to believe that they are. However, all my attempts to locate Sora and Riku end questionably. Xehanort is a devious tactician. There is nothing we can do that he will not, to some extent, be able to predict. So? As you can see, the organization's members are complete people again. Xehanort will be no different. We cannot afford another moment's hesitation. We must consider any strategy to outwit Xehanort and catch him off guard. I must warn you again. The road will not be easy. Fine. Let's jump right in. A flood? Strange. It's coming from upstairs. <laughs> Mickey! It's this musical score. It has him trapped. You won't, won't be, able be able to defeat to that darkness with brute force. force. I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Who are you? Riku, if brute force won't work, tell me what will. Do you really mean you're gonna try and help me? Yes. Gosh, Riku, something tells me you and I are gonna be good friends and we'll help each other out a lot someday. Inside this music is a sound idea powerful enough to dispel the darkness. Can you find it? I'll try. Leave it to me. Thank you. 
You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade. Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade, passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. Once again, you performed predictably, although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it, but you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits. Try out that sound idea. was amazing! What happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. Sora can find the brightest part of anything, and pull off miracles like there's nothing to it. It's pretty hard not to smile around him. Wow! No wonder the music sounded like so much fun. But I bet he's got you to thank for that. Having such a good friend means he could really enjoy it. Huh? It's like each of you is holding on to a little part of the other. Your hearts are always in tune, so they're free to sing. 
gosh. I hope I can be part of the team someday. You will. Trust me. <laughs> Is this... Am I back at Master Yensid's tower? Something seems off. King Mickey! Huh? Is this what's troubling him? All right. Gosh, Gosh, is huh? that a keyblade? Who are you an apprentice to? I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, huh? Apprentice? Wait, am I in some world where the king was still in training? So, does that mean this world is sleeping? What's wrong? What? Oh, uh, I'm Sora, the... Uh, apprentice of, um... Uh, hey, listen, your mag... Uh, I gotta stop that. Mickey, what can I do to save you? Thank, Thank you, Sora. Sora. But, but it's, it's no, no use. use. A, monster's a monster's possessed that music. That music. And, he's and he's releasing darkness, darkness that stops anybody from going in there to fight him. To dispel the darkness, we need a sound idea. It's that dream eater I let escape. Okay. Where do I get a sound idea? What? what? You'll, You'll find, find one, one for me? me? Of course! Thank, Thank you. you! It's not every day I get to do a favor for the king. Huh? Did you, Did say, you say something? something? Oh, nothing. Long story. So what exactly is a sound idea? Hmm. Inside this musical score should be a power that can sweep away any darkness. But you, but gotta, you gotta be careful. Be careful. In, In between those, those clefts and notes are monsters. monsters. Not, Not as strong as the big one, but still, still pretty, pretty strong. strong. Got it.
easily you sink into the depths of slumber. Uh. Why are you here? <sighs> Beautiful world, isn't it? Almost like a dream. Why are you following me around? You really haven't caught on? Or are you just assuming it's all part of your little test? I'm not part of the dream. And if you thought I was, then you're softer than they say. What? But this will all be over soon. Just who are you people? Sleep on and we will meet again. Hey! What does that mean? Sora, I can tell you found us a sound idea. Well, I guess we should try and put it to work. Sound idea not enough? Don't worry. I've got a friend out there who will help. He's always picking up the slack for me. joining together to make even more powerful music. Yeah. Two forces are better than one. Right, Riku? Okay. Can I get in there to fight that thing now? Yes. But, but Sora, Sora, I'll be fine. See you in a jiff. Sora. Don't know what I would have done without you. 
Oh no! Huh? The water! Oh, I'm in big trouble if I don't fetch it! See you real soon, Sora! Yeah, you know it. Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work... A version of himself would have had to exist at both Source and Destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh! Oh no! I remember, Xehanort did give up his body! It was a version of him that was possessing Riku! No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <clears throat> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Xehanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're going to reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. We're going too! Ah, fellas, you're my best pals. But this time... I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Oh. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart. And I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. <sighs> Wait, isn't this... Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So I've got to be awake again, and in the real world. But 
Why here? Oh, what's the matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place, hijacked your little slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Oh, the man in the robe! And so that guy in the black coat! And Xemnas! Oh. Bingo! You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Rope Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. What? Pleasant dreams, kiddo. Yes, this was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends call Ansem. Whoa! <laughs> Him. Is that? Yes. The point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me. Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way, and then placed himself here when the time was right. That is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Ansem possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. <sighs> Kyrie! Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. 
Hmm. What is... You've been here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again, like deja vu. King Mickey? Oh. Goofy! Pluto! Why am I here? I unlocked all seven keyholes, so I should be back in the world I came from. Is that... Sora? Sora! Sora, don't! You've got to wake up! Sora! Are you what's trapping him in that nightmare? <sighs> Cause if you are, I'm what nightmares fear!
Sora. Don't chase the dreams. They'll lead you nowhere. Just to an abyss you'll never be able to wake up from. What? What's going on in Sora's world? Why won't he open his eyes? Is he still in the nightmare? That is right. Huh? Ansem! <laughs> Sora can no longer wake up. No matter how many nightmares you consume, you cannot wake someone who has fallen into the chasm of dreams. What? Dreams hold our memories. Sleep holds our dreams. And darkness, it holds our sleep. Sora's heart belongs to the darkness now. Sora would never give in to the darkness! But you feel it, don't you? This world, the nightmare, the abyss. Why haven't you returned to the reality whence you came? No. This is a... Dream of a dream. A twofold nightmare. This whole journey, you have been inside Sora's dreams. And now darkness within darkness awaits you. What? No! I, I can't get loose! Ah! Ah! At the start of your test, when you struck out from that tiny island, you saw me there dressed in a robe. Immediately you knew something was wrong. So without even knowing it, you dove into Sora's dream. And you became exactly what that sigil on your back represents. A dream eater to protect Sora from nightmares. Me? I'm a dream eater? Correct. But you failed to protect him. After all your efforts to command the darkness and protect those you cherish, it is a shame you locked that power away in the end. Except... it's not over. I can still save Sora. So you understand what to do. Set the darkness in you free, and you can rescue your friend. Ansem. Or... Xehanort. You used to be a Keyblade wielder. But darkness stole your heart. And the Keyblade with it. Don't you see? That's half the reason I'm even on this journey. After allowing darkness into my heart, am I still fit to wield the Keyblade? Even after locking you away, here you are, haunting me again. So I get it now. There's no point in trying to hold the darkness back. At last, you see clearly. You know, when I look at you, there's this memory that flashes back. A secret I said I'd keep when I was little. The main reason I kept dreaming about seeing the outside world was because of him. Mm -hmm. My journey begins here. And now, I'm going back to the real world. And then to Sora's side. That... is your answer? Yes. I know the way. Consume the darkness. Return it to light. You can try. Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Ha!
You're part of my heart now. Part of the light. Ever the fool boy. And forever a pawn of the darkness. Cut! 
strength to protect what matters. Finally, make it out of the dream? Sora and I have been split up since the start of our journey. Because Ansem, no, because Xehanort planned it. And that means we're a long way off course from the Mark of Mastery exam Yen Sid gave us. All right. Sora's gotta be here. Somewhere. Majesty! Donald! Goofy! Huh? Huh? Nominee, is that you? Wait! Nominee! I've got a message for you. I meant to tell you once this was all over. Huh? Who are... you? Why am I... Hey, wait! You gotta wake up! Wait up! Who are you? You're... Roxas! How can you be here? Am I dreaming? Come on! Say something! This could have been the other way around. Huh? But it really has to be you. What do you mean? There are so many hearts that are connected to yours. You're me, so you can feel what I felt. <sighs> no. Roxas, you're you. We're not the same. I wanted to tell you that. That you deserve as much as I do to be your own person. Sora, see? That's why it has to be you. Cause all this pain? What do you what want do me you to want see? So, don't chase the dream. They'll leave you nowhere. Just to an abyss you'll never be able to wake up from.
Riku! Kairi! I found you! Huh? Who? Then. Then. Huh? Uh, 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 Whoopsie Daisy. Wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? No. That wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey, I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh, thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel and Roxas and Naminé, and that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. And they laughed together, got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Indeed. A heart is never lost for good. There may have been variances in our dispositions, but a number of us unquestionably showed signs of a burgeoning replacement. Once born, the heart can also be nurtured. Our experiments creating Heartless were attempts to control the mind and convince it to renounce its sense of self. But understand, one can banish the heart from the body, but the body will try to replace it the first chance it gets, for as many times as it takes. And so I knew, even after we were divided into heartless and nobodies, it was just a temporary separation. Why then? Why did you lie to them, and tell them they had no hearts? 
Xemnas and Xehanort formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? You tricked your friends to... But you, aren't you scared of just turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts! However, through weakness of body, weakness of will, or weakness of trust, most of the original members we had chosen for the organization were inadequate. Thus, naturally, they never had a chance to attain their goal. Yet, even this was to be expected. <sighs> we have learned of the heart's folly, and we have achieved our other goals. This last excursion has proven to be a worthy closing assignment for the organization. Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet, and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. But no pound. We see much bigger and better things in your future. Once you side with us. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me. And I don't care. I'm proud... to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> my friends! They are my power! Those are just words. You, you've lost. <clears throat> Fine. See where your power gets you here. Xemnas! He's all yours!
You... again. You just make it too easy. I know you think you've won, but you lost the moment you dived this far in. You're in the deepest pit of slumber, and you've worn yourself down to nothing. There's no returning to the world above. What do you mean? We told you. It was not the sleeping keyholes that guided you. They are not the reason you are here. You've been on a path. One we laid out for you. That sigil on your chest is the proof. What? See, that sigil, the X, it tells us where you are at all times. You had wondered aloud before why we kept showing up where you were. It's because we need you, Sora. Or, to be more precise, we need what will be left of you. The Thirteenth Dark Vessel. Why... I... Why was it assured you would come here today? Because I followed my destined path, and I'm here looking at you right now. You can move through time, but time itself is immovable. Today, all of my selves throughout time were meant to gather here. And to welcome you, Sora, as our thirteenth member. These facts cannot be changed. What's gonna happen? I have now told you all that I know. We are all here, and what the future holds in store is beyond my sight. I will return to my own time, and grow into the man who becomes all these others. While I know this future now that I have lived it, returning to my own time will erase the memories and experiences I have gained here. Still, my appointed path is now etched in my heart, which will first lead me to seek the outside world. Riku. Your heart will sleep forever in the folds of darkness, and your body will be another vessel for me. So light gives way to darkness. Good night, Sora. End of the road, huh? I know I'm back in the real world, but I still have my Dream Eater powers. Which means... he still hasn't woken up. Where are you, Sora? Huh? Uh. 
A dream eater. Is that where Sora is? How do I get across? Oh. Right. I get it. Sora! Hands off my new vessel. Vessel? Yes. We originally had our sights set on you. But... You developed a certain resistance to darkness. So we did what the Keyblade did, and moved down the list. Uh, Roxas. Uh, now there was a worthy candidate. But, unfortunately, he became too aware of himself, and returned to Sora. Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Thanks to you and Sora, we learned not all our candidates were fit for the task, but we managed to make up the difference. And now, Sora, the thirteenth vessel, is within our grasp. Thirteen? Xehanorts? <gasps> what is... The real Organization 13. The organization? I am Xehanort from the most distant past. My future self gave me a task. To visit the splintered versions of myself in many worlds and ensure they gathered here today. From the past? There are restrictions to movement through time. First, you must leave your body behind to do it. Then, there must be a version of you waiting at the destination. Upon arrival, you can only move forward as per the laws of time. And you cannot rewrite the events that are destined to happen. What have you done? My most future self will arrive soon. Then, time for all of us will return to normal. And I will go back to my era to live the life fate has in store. He can vouch for that. I'm glad I'm not too late. Mickey! Just grab Sora so we can go. I can't stop them for long. Okay. <laughs> Mickey! <gasps> I said hands off! How can you be moving? Oh, oh no. Are you? Be gone! Yeah. Hut. 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 Hut
Are you okay, Riku? Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. Oh! Master Xehanort! Huh? We were right about you! <laughs> All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, and I would return a complete person. It is the future which lies beyond my sight. Why are you doing this? In ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade into twenty pieces. Seven of light and thirteen of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness never to surface again. I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade, but the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then, your mistakes, changed the destinies of three of my friends! Ah, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places, 
the broken boy who failed to be the blade, the misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend, and the feckless youth who became my new vessel. I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it as soon as Maleficent started gathering the seven princesses of heart. Yes. They were all my doing. I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared thirteen vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The Seven Guardians of Light and the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. <laughs> Seven Guardians of Light? Well, for Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora. And my three missing friends, that six. Then the seventh would be... That means the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. Yes, little king. Perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! Keyblade. But first, the Thirteen Darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now, the last vessel shall bear my heart like the rest! Uh, no! Sora! The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing? You had your perfect little script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happens. <sighs> what now, you old coot? Our time is up! Isa. Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... Whatever. Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Wow. 
we're supposed to do that? I think so. Goofy, Donald, you saved us! We are out of time. Neither the Union of Light nor Darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But the gathering of the Seven and Thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place, once your lights and my darknesses have joined together! Seven lights, thirteen darknesses. Master Xehanort has been busy. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah, Sora. Don't tell me your heart's sleeping too. No, Mickey. This affliction is not the same. Can we do anything for him? Uh. Yeah. In your Mark of Mastery exam, you were to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. By doing so, you would awaken those worlds from their prison of slumber, and also acquire the power to free a heart from its sleep. Riku, you unlocked those keyholes within Sora's dreams. Therefore, it stands to reason that you now have the power to awaken Sora's heart. You want him to dive back into Sora's sleep? But, Master, Sora's heart is down in the darkest abyss. If Riku's not careful, he might just get trapped down there with him. No, I'll go instead. And perhaps you may even succeed, Mickey. But there is no denying Riku stands the better chance, having dived into Sora's heart as long as he has. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Mickey. I really appreciate it. But... I'll go wake Sora up. Riku! Look at his face. Sleeping like nothing's wrong. Like there's nothing to even worry about. He's always been like that. The three of us would agree to work on the raft. And then this guy would go take a nap on the beach. You see, it's my job to keep him on his toes. Besides, what kind of Keyblade Master sleeps through his test? I'm doing it for me, too. Sora saved me once. And... I heard him call my name. He needs me. Hmm. There's something real strong that binds us to each other. Even in the darkness, you can reach him. All you gotta do is follow that connection. Gee, we're all connected to Sora. And if the darkness gets you, I promise I'll bail you out. Dark Rescue's my middle name. Guys, thank you. Sora and I will be back soon.
this abyss. Am I in Sora's dream? I'll find you, Sora. Roxas? What is it that you're so afraid of? Huh? Hmm. Causing someone to be hurt. Roxas? No. Wait. What is the one thing you care about more than anything else? Huh? Hmm. My close friends. 
What is going on? Huh? Sora! Who are you? Riku, what do you wish? More questions. All right. I wish... to recover something important that I lost. What's this? You were not the visitor I expected. Oh. Diz! I mean, Ansem the Wise. What are you doing here? Perhaps I wanted to atone for events of the past, even if no apology can undo the harm I have wrought. I felt that I ought to leave at least something behind. So I digitized myself and my research and hid them within Sora. So this is... data? Yes. A clue, I hope, to finding yourselves or your lost friends in your hour of need. The heart has always been quick to grow. Each exposure to light, to the natural world, to other people, shapes this most malleable part inside of us. Nobodies are not different from us in that manner. Sora was the only one able to return to his human form without destroying his nobody. That is a statement to the love in his heart for other people and the bonds that tie them together. Perhaps he has the power to bring back the hearts and existences of those connected to him, to recreate people we thought were lost to us forever. Our most precious treasures even an empty puppet, the trees of the forest, and the petals on the wind. There are hearts around us everywhere we look. And it does not take superhuman powers to see them. Surely we remember, as children, the way our hearts made everything seem so shiny and perfect. Sora has a heart like that, uncorrupted, willing to see the good before the bad. When he sees the heart in something, it then becomes real. When a connection seems broken, he may have the power to mend it. He has touched countless hearts. He has accepted them, and he has saved them. And some of those hearts have never left him. Whether they fell into darkness or were trapped there. Whether they sleep in the darkness of Sora's heart. Or were welcomed into its warmth. They can be saved. All Sora needs to do is be himself and follow wherever it is that his heart takes him. It is the best and the only way. The rest is in there. All right. Thanks. 
Thank you. Of course. Now, why is it that you are here? Uh... Uh... I kind of need to wake Sora up. Don't tell me he's gone to sleep again. Yeah. What'll I do with him? What, indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Never fear. Sora is safe. Huh? He's not here. You see, by defeating the Nightmare imprisoning Sora, you freed him. Uh, you mean, the Sora wrapped in that black phantom? Then, you came here, and you were questioned by three young people. That was the final key to awaken him. Sora is awake. You can go home now. Really? Thank you. I do not believe you ever told me your name. Huh. It's Riku. Donald, come on, you're hogging it all. Ah, calm down, Sora, I'm doing calm too. Of course, it sure is yummy. Hey! Riku, you're safe! Riku! <laughs> uh, wait, haven't we got this backwards? And why are you having a tea party? You're safe, Riku! Oh, never mind. You okay? Feeling all right? Yeah. I've never been better. I was watching what was going on in my dream. And I could hear your voice the whole time. Thanks, Riku. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we pass the test? Hmm. You performed truly admirably, both of you. <laughs> More than anything, I am grateful to have you both back from Xehanort's deception unharmed. And I am grateful to Lee, whose spontaneous actions turn the tides. I am also deeply sorry for failing to perceive the danger and throwing you headlong into a perilous test. This experience has revealed many hidden truths. And we must gird ourselves for the great clash with darkness that lies before us. I believe we need a new Keyblade Master. One with a new kind of power. Sora and Riku, you both deserve the honor. However, one of you braved the realm of sleep again to unlock the final keyhole and save a friend. Riku, I name you our new, true Keyblade Master. <laughs> Way to go, Riku! <laughs> yeah? I knew you were gonna pass with flying colors! 
This is just so awesome. Gee, Sora, you're kind of acting like it's you that passed. Atlon, you sure are still mimic some practice. Hey. Really? I'm a Keyblade Master? Congratulations, Riku! Uh, uh, thank you, Mickey. I owe it to my friends. <laughs> I'll catch up with you in no time flat. What? You want to be a Keyblade Master? Yeah. I mean, I came here to learn how to wield one. You? Hey, thanks for the vote of confidence. You know I was gonna come swooping in, keyblade in hand. But I just couldn't get mine to materialize. Must be in the snap of the wrist or something. Oh. Really? Do you have to go? Well, I did doze off. I just have some stuff to take care of. I want gonna be okay? Yeah. I won't be long. Be careful. Very careful. Right. See you soon. Good. I was hoping this world was still here. Hmm. But where are they? You're the best! 